everybody, my name is Matteo Vidiva Fabiani. I'm the composer and singer and producer for a band called Hell Boulevard. Uh, we play a mix of rock, metal, uh, symphonic orchestra music and electronic music. The last time I did a video for VSL, I showed our template, which is made of a lot of orchestral tracks and uh, guitars, drums, it's a huge, big template. I was discussing with Paul about a new video that I would like to do for VSL. I had to tell him that Lately, I was not really in the mood for big orchestral metal rock music, probably because our tour has been postponed again for the third time, uh, maybe because of the whole war situation. In December, I wrote and composed uh, a little album of piano and string quartet music, extremely simple. I'm not at all a good piano player, but I can write the stuff I like. And I thought that could be a nice experiment to try to write something like that using uh, Vienna F Symphonic Library instruments. I'm gonna play the track for you and then I'm gonna explain what I used, how I used it. Let's listen to it. It's a really simple thing, uh, there are really not many tracks, the melody is extremely simple and that's exactly what I tried to do with my little solo album and what I tried to do here. First thing that you can see, it's simply an uh, ambient sounds track, uh, because I really like, even while I'm composing, while I'm trying to find a melody, I like to have an ambient sound track as a background because it inspires me a lot and then it's really hard for me to remove it because i love it i just love to place the music in some place here it sounds almost like an airport or a place where people pass by and i i love to have it after that we got the piano which was the first track i used and uh, i'm using the vsl bösendorfer upright i hope i said it right um there are a lot of different presets uh, for mix, like you can see the concert, intimate, player, pop, ambience, etc, etc. Uh, but I wanted a closer sound, so what I did, I went into the mix and I used mainly the ribbon mic and a little of the surround and a little of reverb. Then I used a level of minus six of the timber shift, which gave me this little darker sound. Which, in my opinion, was really good for this track. The next instrument I'm gonna show you is the clarinet. I don't usually use woodwinds for this kind of tracks, but I had the Synchron Woodwinds demo 
and I thought it was a good way to test it. Uh, so I'm using the legato articulation. Sounds great. Um, I use really low dynamics for the whole piece. Really like this. The next one I'm going to show you is the flute, which is pretty similar. But in this case, I used uh, Espressivo con vibrato. I love how the vibrato comes in slowly and uh, and I love this expressive articulation. Uh, also in this case, of course, you got the whole bunch of articulations and I think if you want to check all of them, it's better for you to watch a full walkthrough video from the guys of Vienna Symphonic, which are way better than me doing these kind of things. The next one is the alto flute. Same thing here again, legato espressivo con vibrato. And the next one is the bass clarinet. So this is pretty much about the woodwinds. I'm going to play them for you all together. And etc. After that, we got a string quartet. It's viola, first violin, second violin and cello. Um, they're not doing much. Actually, they are doing some sort of waves. I love it. And also in this case, uh, I try to have the closer sound possible. Uh, so I use the close center mix. Same thing for the violin, same articulation. Uh, in the piano for the piano, actually, you can choose between a couple of different lengths. They are not all the same, which is a great thing. So it makes everything a little more irregular and less perfect when you play all of them together. Uh, because I like imperfections and I think they really fit this kind of music. So this is the violin. Pretty much the same thing for the second violin. Piano for the piano articulation, three seconds. It's a really, really cool sound. The same thing for the cello. Dynamics, piano for the piano, three seconds. together you get this the last instrument I've used is a harp I wasn't really sure how to how to use it in a track like this, so I started to try around different solutions. And in the end, I went for the harmonics articulation with a distant room mix, so you got this kind of ethereal sound.
the last track that I'm gonna show you it's a really cool one in my opinion from a really cool library which is the synchron effects strings it's a special effects and special texture uh, library and you have a lot of different kind of sounds this is called vertical tremolo so i think this fits great for horror tracks uh, you got clusters which are extremely useful scoring a lot of rise and hits glissandi and then you got spherical textures which also are absolutely great in this case let's go back to to our patch, which was the which was the breath sustains. Just an extremely simple textural work in the background. And this is pretty much it. As I told you at the start of the video, the idea was to have an extremely simple track with a super simple arrangement, a few instruments, a few notes, nothing big, everything sounding pretty close in terms of microphones. And uh, I have to thank the guys at VSL that gave me the demo, the demos of some of these libraries. And it was a lot of fun for me. I discovered a few things which I was surprised of, like using woodwinds for a track like that, which I'm not used to, and I really loved the final result of it. So uh, I'm going to play the track once more for you, and hopefully I'll see you the next time. Bye-bye.